In this video, I am going to show you how to create your own animated NFT collection. You must be searching for an in detailed video which tells you exactly how to create an animated NFT collection. But there is no such video on the internet which shows you an easy way for free to create this collection. So if you are interested in, in such a thing, just watch this video till the end and by the end of this video you will be ready with your own animated NFT collection. So in order to follow this video, you need to watch this video, which is coming on the screen right now. This is a video which tells you how to create a basic structure for the collection that we are going to make today. So let's get into the video without wasting any time. So after you have set up this software and made a basic structure for the collection, the next step is to go to any folder, create a new folder and then create different fold subfolders in this folder give them names so our first folder is body the basic body structure will be in this folder we need to create different layers so i'm separating it out first only the second folder will be for our upper body like t-shirt the third folder will be for the lower body LB and so on you it's your wish what all folders you want to create to create this collection and then I'm going to create a folder for different props like cigar and cap hat all, all these things on the body like different designs so props eyes actually i'm going to do eyes first and then mouth props so for the timing these folders are enough and then you want to go back to this software and then we are going to create our first layer our first folder the body the basic body structure so in the basic body structure this is the exact same thing that you need to do you need to put the skin color the lower color will be black or whatever color you want so i'm going to now this is the basic body structure all the layers have this same structure so go to the file and then click on render animation and after you go to render animation what all number the the amount of number of frames you have you have to click first frame and last frame so our last frame is six so we want only this much to be rendered and frames per second i'm going to put this on nine the frames per second should be set on nine and this render as should be gif image in order for the loop to keep playing and then just click on uh, just set your destination of where you want to save this so we already created a folder for video body and i'm going to save it in body okay and when we go to that folder we have this saved right here actually one thing i forgot to do is create a base ground because if we don't create a ground even if you set the size of the file it will not come equal to what you want so in order for me to get a 600 by 600 pixels file i need to i need to create a base for this so it'll be it will work as an outline so i'm going to increase the size from here and create a ground right here on all the frames I'm going to do it on all the frames so now the same thing you have to repeat and render the animation
so now if you see the image if you see the animation it's going to be 600 by 600 the size before the size was small because we didn't create the ground so the first thing has been created now in order to create the next things we need to first go right here and create create different copies of the same image of the same layer so to create different copies just click on control c control v control c v c v so there will be multiple copies created of the same layer and now we want to create t-shirt copies like the upper body different colors for the upper body so click on the paint tool and then whichever color you want just click on it first i'm going to choose red and then click on this and fill it in the layer and you have to do this for all the frames like the previous one so i have it already filled for all the frames and then i'm going to choose on this tool in order for this outline to be a bit thinner so just click on this right here and then click on the black part the outline part so that our outline becomes thin this is not necessary just for the safe for safety reason so that the outline does not get doubled when we add this file so just do it for all the files all the frames actually and then we have our first frame like our first colored uh, layer for the collection which will have the red t-shirt so now just do the same thing which we did with the previous ones go go here click on render animation and then select the six frames that we already have all these details should be same it should not be different and then select the destination it is t-shirt and then click on one and save so i'm going to real quick ma make all these t-shirt layers and yeah i'll meet you after that after i have created different layers for the body for the body t-shirt color i've created one two three four five layers for the t-shirt color now i'm going to create layers for the lower for the lower body so i go back to the software krita and i start filling in color in the lower body and all the other things should be empty so i pick the paint tool and i want the first color that I want is grey I'm going to export it in the same way render animation 6 frames 9 frames per second select the destination create a video for video lower body first color and then click on save and you if you have anything filled in your upper body just click on this erase tool along with this paint tool and then you can deselect anything 
So now the second layer and then I'm going to make three or four layers and meet you after that. So I've created different layers for the lower body right here. Three layers for the lower body and then the next one is background. I didn't choose a select and create a folder for background so I'm going to do that real quick. So click on right BG and then go here and then just click on new layer right here. Click on new layer and fill the layer with light colors. I'm going to go with light colors. So the first one is yellow and then just go here, export, click on PNG file, PNG image and then select the folder for video, background and save and OK. So this way we are going to create all the backgrounds. Once you have created the background and the lower body colors, then you need to create props. So the first prop that I'm going to create is the hat. So just select that layer back and I'm going to the first frame. And I only want the outline. So I'm going to select the paint and click on select erase mode and erase this color black that is in the different frames and then go back select the brush tool select size and start drawing Select the color black, of course, and start drawing. First frame, then draw it in the second frame. Draw it in the third frame. Fourth frame. Fifth and the last frame and then click on the paint tool and fill a color in this so I'm going to fill black color in all the frames forgot to do it in the last frame so I'm going to do it and you need to create different designs just the way I have created here after creating few designs of hat I'm going to create few eye designs now so the first eye design that I'm going to create is go to the brush tool select the black color or whatever color you want and just go through from here to there so that it looks like a sci-fi design just a type of a goggles that he's wearing and yeah a couple of designs like these so after you've created all the props after you've created all the props everything t-shirt and lower head, eyes, everything, background, then you need to visit the, a website called min, rarements.com and then sign into that website and then click on add new project. Now click on group and write anything like stickman. Whatever you want the name to be, just write it. And under this group, create subgroups. So the first will be background bg then will be body then t-shirt t s h i r t lower then the next one will be eyes mouth actually mouth eyes 
and head so these are all the layers that I've created and then the only thing now you need to do is click and drop all those folders select and drop in these so first I'm going to drop my background select background select all the background files drag and drop it right here then go to your body select your body drag and drop then different color of t-shirts that you created drag and drop all these right here so after you've dragged and dropped everything you need to click on this generate image tab so just click on generate image and then here it is showing how many unique combinations are possible so because i didn't uh, make so many designs that's why there are only 480 unique combinations but I want 100 combinations because it's going to take a lot of time because these are not just images these are animations so it's going to take a lot of time depends upon your laptop specs and yeah so I'm going to select 100 combinations and then click on generate and it's going to take a bit of time depends upon your PC specs for me I think it's not going to take a long time So after all these files are generated, you will get a zip file. So the zip file will be right here. Just have to open the zip file and then see all the images. These are all GIF files. Then just export it, shift it into a new folder. And yeah, I'm ready with my unique collection of animations so there was some error like i did some mistake in the size of the canvas but this will not happen these lines the extra lines will not have come in your when you are generating if you take care of this canvas size it was a very silly mistake actually see so these are all the nfts unique nfts with different color combinations and different I made this video because there was not a lot of content on this topic on the internet on how to create your own animated NFT collection. So yeah, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon for more updates. And if you have any doubt, just write in the comment section down below and I will definitely reply and clear all your doubts.